These are, the, these are the six things that I would do to pimp the U.S. tax system. Again, this is just about reducing your taxes. None of these things is illegal. It's really just a, a way to defer your taxes. Um, and this is the best I know as of now. I know there's more advanced tax strategies, but uh, where I am right now, this is what has helped me reduce my tax liability at the end of the year. But wake up, wake up, it's time to be free. Wake up, wake up, what's blind now I see. Wake up, wake up, it's time to be me. Wake up, wake up, my mind is the key. Wake up, it's time to be me. Wake up, wake up, my mind is the key. <laughs> so welcome, welcome. It's Julian Gordon with another episode of The Daily Jewels, where I drop nuggets of wisdom to help you increase your degrees of freedom. doesn't matter how many college degrees you have. The only degree that really matters is your degree of freedom. It doesn't matter how much money you make. What really matters is how you actually make money. So today I got a question from Mwali, uh, who is interested in learning how to reduce his taxes. Um, taxes are due very soon, and um, his business has had a great year. And uh, the fact that you actually have to think about this means that your business is likely in a good place. It means that you made income in the past year. But how do we reduce those taxes? I'm going to share with you some strategies that I use, um, but there are ways to uh, play with numbers um, in a safe way. Um, that actually caused you to reinvest in your business. That is actually the core strategy for uh, reducing your taxes, but most people try to take money out of their business. So let's get into it. So uh, how do taxes work? Essentially, in a business, um, you have your revenues, and then you have your expenses, um, and, and then you have income. Now, for those of you who are employees, uh, I just want you to be aware that oftentimes uh, you use language like, oh, my income, right? My income tax. Employees actually get taxed on their revenue. Employees get taxed on their revenue. Your revenue is what you get from your employer. Then once you take off rent and your mortgage and your car note and food and all those other bills, which are your expenses, then that is what your real income is. But we call employees, not we, I'm not on that side of the fence anymore. Uh, employees call what should be called revenues, their income, and they get taxed up here. Employees get taxed here. Businesses get taxed. Entrepreneurs get taxed here. Okay, entrepreneurs get taxed here. This is why Warren Buffett can pay less taxes than his secretary. Okay, so I just want to make that clear. So how do you um, reduce your taxes? It's pretty simple using this equation. You either decrease your revenues or increase your expenses. Now, here's the thing. We do not want to decrease our revenues. We want our revenues to continue to go, go, and go, and go, right? So we want to focus on how to increase our expenses so that one, if we increase our expenses, then our income actually goes down. Right? But you're like, no, I want to make income. But here's how this works for you. So two things that I do uh, before December 31st uh, is really key. So let's just say December 31st is here. And, uh, and if there's an accountant watching this and you have comments and feedback, please put it in the comments. Okay. So this is December 31st. So let's just say I made 100K. Uh, let's say I have 100K income. As, uh, and we're approaching December 31st, it's Christmas, right? It's December 25th, and I have 100K income that I'm gonna have to report for the year, right? The moment it um, uh, becomes New Year's, right? The moment the ball drops in Times Square, I'm already going to lose 30K if I have a 30% tax rate, just because I didn't use this money, right? The moment the ball drops in Times Square, that 100K basically becomes uh, 70 because I have to now pay 30 to uh, the IRS. Okay. So how can I use more of this hundred K now, if you've already paid yourself out of your business for me, for, uh, one thing I do, one thing I do is, uh, I, you got to pay yourself out of your business, right? Um, that goes, that actually increases your expenses for the business. I actually pay myself, um, just enough. I don't. I actually, I'm the lowest paid employee in my company. Yes, I have a W two, uh, even though, but I have 100% ownership of the company, right? But I'm the lowest paid employee in my company. So one, you want to pay yourself, and you want to pay yourself enough to cover all your basic uh, living expenses, whatever that is for you. Everybody has different uh, levels of lifestyle. Okay. Now, the second thing you can do is you can pre pre order. 
before December 31st, you can pre-order things that you're going to be using in the upcoming year. So let's say, uh, so some things you might do is you might prepay your cell phone bill for the following year, the entire thing. You might, um, you might, you, let's say you're going to need a new computer in June. You might buy that now because it'll be 30% cheaper to get it now than to wait till June to get it. Um, other, uh, let's say you have Infusionsoft or ClickFunnels, you may decide to pay those in full for the year. And instead of doing the monthly billing that most of these um, software services have, you might do the annual plan and renew that. All your domain names and GoDaddy, you may pay all of those before December 31st. Now, what is that doing? That is increasing your expenses. It's taking this income that you had to report down, 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 right? So you're, save, you're actually saving 30% in a weird way, right? by pre-ordering all the things that you'll need for the upcoming year. Now, of course, the same thing is going to happen. So what you're doing is you're not really avoiding the tax. You're actually deferring the tax because there's going to be at some point where you decide to stop your business, right? And when you stop your business, then all that income that you've deferred, right, <laughs> is actually going to hit. But now you're 60 something years old as opposed to right now in the early stages of your business where you, uh, uh, where, um, you see you have 10, 20, 30 years out in front of you, right? So you can pre-order things. Um, uh, another word for that is prepay. Prepay. So I try to prepay as much stuff as I possibly can. Um, I even prepay contractors that I, um, that I trust. I will even offer to prepay them in advance to reduce my tax liability if they're open to taking it on, on, on in their tax uh, in their tax for this year. So, for example, um, how this works is: let's say my accountant made less money than me this year; his he's going to be in a lower tax bracket than I am, right? So, if I prepay him now uh, before the year ends. Uh, his is it's actually not going to be bad for him because if he takes that revenue next year when his business grows and now he's getting taxed at 30% instead of 20%, it's going to cost him more to receive that money later. And now he can actually go into this year knowing that he already has $3,000 or however much I pay him, he already has that much set aside. Uh, he is like guaranteed income. So uh, you can pre, pre prepay pay yourself first and foremost, pre-order or prepay uh, things to increase expenses. Um, let me see, what else, what else do I do? I have a blog post, um, uh, let me see if I can find it real quick. I have a blog post that has a list of uh, how to reduce your tax. I'll put it in um, the comments on this video when I find it. Six ways to write off, uh, write off, to reduce your taxes by December. Um, so I just want to, so prepaid expenses, uh, like I said, retainers, right? Prepaying your uh, accountant or your videographer or anybody like that. Um, supplies and equipment, uh, stacking up on supplies and equipment. So uh, pay yourself um, prepaid expenses, then uh, prepaid retainers. Paying those in advance. Uh, four is stacking up on supplies and equipment. Five. Five is uh, conferences and trainings. This is an opportunity to invest in your learning in areas. This is an opportunity to invest. You even see some marketers say, uh, this is write offable, right? So they're selling a $3,000 course and they're like, you'll get a tax uh, write off for this, okay? Um, and then uh, supplies, equipment, um, inventory. You can take on more inventory if you sell uh, t-shirts or something like that. You can uh, stack up on inventory as long as it's inventory that won't spoil or uh, won't have, uh, um, like, uh, it's not trendy. Right, because you don't want to get stuck with that inventory in the following year. So these are the these are the six things that I would do to pimp the U.S. tax system. Again, this is just about reducing your taxes. None of these things is illegal. It's really just a, a way to defer your taxes. 
Um, and this is the best I know as of now. I know there's more advanced tax strategies, but uh, where I am right now, this is what has helped me reduce my tax liability at the end of the year. But at the end of the day, I'm actually happy that you're making money and even um, uh, at these levels where you're thinking about how do I even reduce my taxes? That's a good sign. So uh, we celebrate you and Wally. Uh, thank you for being part of the family. And I hope that this has helped and blessed you as we come into tax season right now. All right. So with that, this is Julian Gordon with another episode of The Daily Jewels, and I will catch you in the next episode. Peace. I hope these mindsets, metaphors, and methodologies blessed you. If you desire more freedom, go to GetFreeNow.com to subscribe to the show on iTunes, YouTube, or Facebook and get four of my best courses in the Freedom School for 100% free.